Okay, I, I'm going to turn it over to Matt and say one more thing before I do. One of the pieces that is vulnerable in this conversation is discipleship. We know from churches that do this well that they experience ministry in this form as a massively faith-deepening experience. But the, ver but the temptation is to say, because we are disciples, we will do this and never mention, <laughs> never mention Jesus again, right? We do not live in a culture where that is possible anymore to do that and get away with it because there, we don't have an ecology of formation anymore, you know? Um, so we have to be intentional about the discipleship part too. And so one of the, uh, Matt will talk about fulcrums, things you have to balance. One of the things we have to balance, right, is, okay, do the thing that doesn't, it may or may not look like church. And sometimes starting a church, I work with a congregation, um, they, had, they were house church in a little mill town outside of Philadelphia. And um, they did every, they already were doing all the innovative stuff. They were in, integrated in their community, et cetera. And what they needed to do was to build a sanctuary. Now, they, it didn't look like a sanctuary like, you, like in my church. Um, they rented a room downtown, and they, made, they were intentional about where it was, and they made sacred space downtown. That was their innovation, right? So we, it's easy to characterize or caricature what it is we're talking about. Um, but the discipleship part of it has to be front and center. And here's, here's the last part of that. The role of the pastor is quite, and youth pastor too, right, the leader, is quite distinct in this, right? Our job is not to be the innovators. We might be, right, that might happen, but that's not our job. Our job is to inspire, to equip, and to bless the calling God has given others to be change makers in their communities, right? If we don't do those, if we don't inspire it, if we don't equip, and I, if I equip, I mean give them stories from theology, from the Bible, from, from our tradition that will help them make sense of this, right? Because those three circles, when they float apart, what they lack is a unifying story to, bring them, to, to hold them all, right? So equipping is theological as well as practical. And the third thing is bless it when it happens. You know, you, you repeat the things you celebrate. So anyway, okay.